Good day, everyone. We are here in the desert for the 10th World's Toughest Mutter. You're looking uh, at Kyle on stage. We're going to bring you Sean's whole speech here shortly. Uh, but first, I want to tell you just how excited I am to bring this to you. World's Toughest Mutter has been in New Jersey, in Las Vegas, in Atlanta. Now we're back in the desert, different weather, different terrain, different obstacles, but every time it's my favorite race of the year. It's 24 plus hours, some of the best athletes in the world and just some of your friends out there having a great time. And we're gonna be bringing you live updates throughout the weekend. I'm so excited you guys to bring you this stuff. Right now, uh, we're gonna be showing you uh, some of Kyle's speech here. And then of course the amazing Sean Corvell Go ahead and comment. Let us know where you're checking in from, who you're rooting for, all that fun stuff. Let's go over to the main stage. We have a perfectly measured five-mile course, 20 obstacles out there for you tonight. First hour of today's course is the sprint lap. That starts here at 12. We will not have any obstacles open until 1 p.m. And the obstacles will open at 1 and every hour after that on a regular basis. Up until we get our last obstacle, we let down. The format of tonight's for today's race, those who can complete the most five mile laps before the course cutoff time at 1.30 p.m. tomorrow will be crowned our winners. We have three divisions, men's and women's tender division, buying $35,000 prize purse uh, and age group awards. Our team relay divisions in both the and category, and then the open division, uh, and all of you in the white bibs who are out here to have a good time with some games with us tonight. Leaderboards will be available at the race center, the big white tent that's down there behind you. You'll be able to stop in and track those. The leaderboard updates about 60 seconds after you drop the men, so you don't immediately see yourself up there. It is coming, I promise, your picture. All of you are using Top Boys. You can track your runners online at topboys.com slash WTM. You'll be able to watch them on the course from start to finish. You are here, obviously, standing at the start line tonight. The finish line is immediately behind you. The course is going to take an immediate Start line is tapered down in front of you here to about eight feet wide. Now, we've done that because the trail goes into single track very fast behind us here. We don't want to bottleneck you on the course. So as you come across the start line today, if you are a contender but you are not planning to run the first lap, please make your way to the back to the side so that our contenders who are going to go fast out there have the chance to get out and get a running start across the line. The person who finishes the sprint lap first in the men's and women's category will be crowned our sprint lap champion. You will get a green bib at the race center upon completing the sprint lap in the fastest way position. That sprint lap champion bib is not a replacement for your existing bib, so please do not take your bib off. You need to have your numbered, chipped bib on throughout the course of the entire event to ensure that we can track you accurately. If you can all look down right now and make sure that there is a red timing chip attached to your bib, that timing chip needs to remain with you through the course of the evening. Please make sure that you are checking for it frequently. If that chip does come off, please continue on your lap. Make your way directly to the race center as soon as you cross the finish line. Let them know that you lost that chip on course. They'll be able to get a replacement chip out for you, but we will clock that lap time as the time that you arrive at the finish line. In the event that you see an issue with your time, you think something's not being reported correctly, please go straight to the race center after completing that lap have your pick crew do it for you. We'll have a team there all night that can support you. Our race directors today, Chris and Jen, standing up at the front over there. Chris himself, a past 90 mile finisher at World's Toughest Mutter. Chris will be with you during the daytime. Jen will be out here overnight. Uh, you will stop at the race center to get your obstacle bypass wristbands, which you can start earning after you complete your pit lap. They've done 25 miles and you can get for every lap after that. You must collect those wristbands within a minute after crossing the finish line, so you have to go straight to the tent. They'll verify your time and give you the wristband. If you forget to get one on that lap, that, that wristband has been forfeited. In terms of obstacles out there, there are five obstacles that have penalties this evening. Everest, Well Swung, Funky Monkey, and the Gauntlet will all have penalties from the beginning. You have to attempt all of those obstacles except for Everest in order to take the penalty. Everest, you can go directly to the penalty for that one if you choose the penalty is the full Tough Mudder Kids course, one half mile with 14 obstacles. I heard you drowning in there. 
Dong Dangler is the fifth obstacle that has a penalty that will open overnight tonight when we take the rafts out of Castaway. The penalty for Dong Dangler is a half mile loop. Uh, you'll have to run back to the prior obstacle to retrieve something and bring it back to Dong Dangler and be allowed to continue. All the other obstacles were outlined in the obstacle rules that you were sent yesterday. Uh, we've gone into excruciating detail to make sure that there is no questions as to how you're going to complete things this week. But if you do still have questions, please stop by and talk to the race center as you're coming through LLAP. lab. In the pit area tonight, we do have the hospitality set up for you. There's water, electrolytes, food, and other items there. There is also a water station on course just past mile two. It has water, electrolytes, and toilets. The only other toilets are located right past the finish line here for participants only, and then the other bank of toilets within the pit for participants and pit crew. Participants, once we start this race, you are not allowed to leave the course or the pit area. If you leave the pit area and head back to your car, that will be a drop out from the race. Uh, your ship will be deactivated and will be done for the night. In the event that you are done uh, and you are leaving, if you guys want to turn yourself in, uh, you're ready to go, you're injured, you're sick, you're not feeling well, you've just had enough, please turn your chip in at the race center and we'll take that from you. You can do that at any point. In order to be considered an official World's Toughest Mudder finisher, you must start here at 12 p.m. on the sprint lap and you must complete a lap after 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. That can be one lap if you're going to go out there and sit on course for 16, 18, 24 hours and then walk in after 8 o'clock in the morning, you are welcome to do that. But you do have to start a lap here at 12, complete a lap you know, after that point in the morning. We will have quick pit set up overnight uh, for people who are in the top 10 on the leaderboard. We'll have designated spaces for you to be able to access your pit crew quickly. Pit crew, you are only allowed to support your participant between the finish line and the start line. You can gear up against the barricades or within the actual area itself. You are not allowed to give your participants any food, water, or equipment on course. You can, however, take equipment from them if they discard things. You know, those of you go out with a wetsuit a little too early, you get too hot, you need to shed some layers, you can leave it for your pit crew, but you cannot receive anything from on them from them while you're on course. That is a disqualification. In the event that you are not able to make it back to the finish line under your own power from a lap, you require assistance from the Tough Mudder team or the medical team. They will take your chip as part of that process. Uh, if the medical team clears you to keep going on the course, you're welcome to continue to run with those laps of the ground and you can mechanically transport it back here to the finish line. If you can convince a couple of other mudders to carry you back to the finish line, then you certainly can keep going after that. Uh, and we've seen it happen before. You may only receive assistance from other participants on course tonight. The only obstacle that we're not able to help each other on is the gauntlet. The gauntlet is a social situation obstacle. You can't hold anybody up. You can't lift them up to touch the ring. tortoise on this property. So most of you have heard me talk about the tortoise by now. If you see the tortoise, what are we going to do? Don't touch it. Don't touch the tortoise. Don't talk to it. Don't talk to the tortoise. Don't ask the tortoise for a carabiner. They don't have any. Any of you with the orange bits can't use them anyway. But please let a tough one staff member know if you see the tortoise, we will enact our tortoise action plan. At the point of seeing the tortoise. Do you have the sign language for tortoise action plan? <laughs> All right. Thanks to Preston Dapper for our hearing impaired. <laughs> At 4 p.m. this afternoon, the sun does go down very quickly. You must start every lap from 4 p.m. onward with a headlamp on the front of your head and a flasher or a colored light on the back side of yourself. Please tie those headlamps. To your bib, I uh, will be harvesting your headlamps all evening uh, under the nets of Beer with Beer in Arctic Enema. I have a personal collection of your black diamonds that I've accumulated over the years. I uh, thank you for them. Uh, but you will need a headlamp to start every lap after that. If you do lose them, talk to others in the pit, see if you can borrow them. We do have a little bit of for sale on the merchandise tent in addition to some additional batteries. With that, guys, I'm going to wrap up this quick discussion of the rules. Please make sure that uh, you support each other out there on the course tonight. This is both a race and a challenge, but it's something we have to do backs. There are a number of obstacles that you're not going to be able to do by yourself. 
and you're going to require each other's support tonight. So I'd like to shout out before we go the group that's heading out to Everest, our Everest Angels. And we have a new group this year that popped up at some of the toughest events, the Men of Butterhorn. With that, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to get the final countdown to the start going here. We're 12 minutes away. I'm going to hand it back to Mr. Corbell. And also, everyone, I'm going to call for our TMH to you for putting us on the front of the Cody. Not just this world cup is better. But after coming off of COVID, putting together one of our most awesome years with World Toughest Letter Period. A big hoorah to our uh, Yes. Yeah. I told them that I am going to try and body surf my way to the middle right over there where that gentleman with the blue glasses is standing. Raise your hand for me, my man. Right there, Green. Right there. Guys, tighten it up right here because all the staff says you're not going to make it. That big one year. We can do this. Are you ready, brother? Yeah. Okay, here I This year I got to explain this whole thing. If you've been with Tough since I've been with Tough Butter, since 2011, you know we've been taking a knee. That's become our tradition. The idea of this whole thing, this is how I grew up in this we always took a knee and the team come together. And any event that I participated in, we took that knee to honor those who gave service and sacrifice that we could be out here doing this event that we are doing today. That is the idea of taking this knee. Remember that, guys. And boy, I, I got challenged one time by somebody, and I had to explain to that person, hey, if you are standing because you are not comfortable, well, one, you are already failing this course. <laughs> Two, yeah, I've had our firefighters when they're running towards those fires carrying those heavy runs. I bet that's uncomfortable. I bet our first responders running towards those bullets, not away from them. Our brothers and sisters representing the world, all over the world, keeping watch for all of our liberties. I bet that's uncomfortable. So when you guys sit and be like that today, man, they feel that. They feel that somewhere. But every time you say to one of our military, our first responders, those people that were out there during the heart of COVID, giving service to us, putting their lives on the line. When you say thank you for your service, that service is designed for you to be your best. Everything you do for this world starts, starts with you being your best. And right today, this weekend, you have a golden opportunity to find that. The only way you can fail this weekend is not to find your best. I know we got the goal on the podcast of the media. I get the most I get the most of it. And she said on the podcast, he's looking to get 100 this year. Woo! 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 So we're all looking to get 100. And all of us, all of those elite runners you see up front there, they carry our hearts. They carry
if you find your best, you'll see your best. That will make you better. You know what that does for the world? It makes us all better. You guys have proven that. You affect the world all year long. During a time where we had a test of our courage, it was you guys that I saw living like you did. You were out there still living, getting things done. And I said it before. You see the people around you? See the, the pit crew? The crew that's been out here getting this court together? You affected us. You inspired the hell out of us, just like you inspired the hell out of the people out there in this world that see you living like you do. And all you simply did was that you did your best. That's how you affect the world. Right now, Darius Rucker is across the street. <laughs> And he's going to be singing that song, which was the last time you did something for the first time. I don't know if he got it from y'all. I don't know if you even heard about Tough Buddy. But that's how you affect the world. Because in my heart, in my soul, I do. That's why he is crazy and spectacular. That's why he's over there. Why you guys are out there. So if you don't think you do, and I know you're right back out there. That is what I want you to carry all through this course all night long. Feel like you can do that? Give me a hoorah. hoorah. You feel like you can do that? Give me a hoorah. hoorah. Two most important rules out here today. Don't touch the tortoise. <laughs> and if you can't swim, don't go in the water. <laughs> I said if you can't swim, don't go in the water. <laughs> Most importantly, you can't swim. Brothers, I love the hell out of each and every one of you. We're going to see you all night long, guys. Let me get you to raise now. Stand up. Let me start flag. Join us in the national anthem. When we learn to, sir, follow by two seconds of silence for all those that have fallen in service for our world. If the mic worked. Anyway, fuck it. <laughs>
Let's give them, their families, and yourselves a three hoorah salute. Hoorah! 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 We have less than a minute to get you out of here. Why don't you take that minute to go? Take it out, buddy. Keep your left, keep your right behind you. Remember, that is your competitor and your teammate. Order them with your back. All oh, my World Cup is not a competitor. Let's remember that trio. This weekend, you do not finish at the finish line. You finish somewhere out there, and then you make it to the finish line. Let us are you ready? Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Some of the best OCR athletes in the world. Certainly the most amazing, strongest people in the world. Each and every one of you represent what I believe how the world should be. Be a better place for sure. Let's show all the world that I know that you are all freaking awesome. Happy birthday to Gannon Collins. Yes. Where's my other birthday person right there? Right there. What's the name? I can't hold on. Happy birthday, Jennifer! I know I got another birthday in here. What's it? Happy birthday, Charles! job for you. <laughs> we need them on that wall. We want them on that wall. 